Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. Mr. Shoulder? Is Thomasina Bateman here? I'm here in Bewley as discussed. Maybe try again. His hearing probably isn't the best at his age. Mr. Shoulder, are you home? It appears Mr. Shoulder is not at home. Curses. Perhaps you could try the handle. It's locked. Here, chuk chuk chuk. Don't encourage them. No sign of life. None. The window is nice and clean. The dwelling is by no means abandoned. I've no desire to lug a block of wood about the countryside. The trousers feel damp, freshly hung, or still wet from last night's rain. Slightly damp. I have a similar one myself. So very warm. I've only just got here. The window is much too high up to reach. What do you make of Mr. Shoulder's residence? A sturdy construction, I'm in no doubt. The winds blow a gale out here, not to mention the pelting rain. At least he must have plenty of eggs to eat. Awful creatures, those hens. Is there a Mrs. Shoulder? No. I believe Mr. Shoulder has led a life of celibacy. What else do you know about Mr. Shoulder? A reclusive man. I must say I know very little about him. Does he attend services at St. Edmund's? Not regularly, if at all these days. Perhaps he feels closer to God out here on the moors. What do you make of Mr. Shoulder's residence? A sturdy construction, I'm in no doubt. The winds blow a gale out here. At least he must have- Awful. Why don't you like hens, father? I know I must love all of God's creatures, 
But they make such an unholy ruckus, and their talons claw at my boots. But they mean no harm, and they provide eggs. I cannot abide hen's eggs. They smell of sulfur when rotten. Thank you for your time. Lord be... I've come a long way to meet you, Mr. Shoulder. Please open the door. Mr. Shoulder continues to prove himself elusive. He looks much too unruly to be picked up. No sign of any movement. Mr. Shoulder can... I've no desire to... That glove looks familiar. I wonder if it matches the glove I found behind the plow and furrow. Mr. Shoulder has stacked blocks of... Very neat and tidy. I'm rather fond of this colour. Perhaps Mr. Shoulder and I share similar taste. No sign of any... stone has been affixed to the door. I think it depicts a crescent moon. It's bolted onto the door itself. I can't remove it. Father, what do you make of this? A peculiar adornment. I've not seen any like this in Bewley. Though it does remind me of a passage by the Bard himself. <clears throat> it is the very error of the moon. She comes nearer Earth than she was wont and makes men mad. Othello? Precisely, Miss Bateman. Your knowledge of the Bard is presently flawless. I consider myself to be well-read, Father Roach. It's delightful to meet a fellow bookworm, I must say.
No sign of a carved stone. I I've only just got. What is your favorite of Shakespeare's works? A very difficult question, Miss Bateman. But one I can answer, nonetheless. I am awfully fond of Cymbeline. An unusual choice. All gold and silver rather turn to dirt. Wouldn't you agree? A fine quote. Thank you for your time. Lord be. Mr. Shoulder. That glove looks familiar. I wonder if it matches the glove I found behind the plow and furrow. I've no dis- I've no- He looks much too unruly. The window is. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? I can't say I've heard of it. It's supposedly a famous local landmark. I'm afraid I know nothing about it. What can you tell me about Bewley? It's a quiet town. The railway line, which I presume you arrived by, is the only news of note we've had here for years. I've heard the new station has received a mixed reaction. <laughs> I've heard many a debate, it's true. But my role is not to adjudicate on that matter. I'm very busy in my own work, you see. Do you know that young girl we saw? No, oh, but I've seen her sneaking around the churchyard. The poor thing is feral. She takes off at the slightest stirring. We will bring the Lord to her. A good time. Perhaps she has her own beliefs. You said there were others like her. Primitive folk, yes. Avoid the moors in hours of darkness and don't wander too far. I wouldn't entrust a young woman in their company. Hmm. Do you know anything else about the Devil's Toe? Not really. I do recall it toppling over when I was a child. A few lads from Bewley rebuilt it to the best of their memories. The Devil mustn't have been happy. Come now, my child. Do not joke about such matters. What more can you tell me of these primitive folk? Godless people, Miss Bateman. Don't concern yourself with them. They live out there on the very edges of this land. If you don't wander too far, you shouldn't cross their path. You mentioned that Mrs. De Plancy is worried about something at the moment. It is not my place to say. Mrs. De Plancy will tell you in good time if she deems it fit to do so. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. Mr. Shoulder continues to prove himself elusive. A carved stone has been affixed to the door. I think it depicts a crescent moon. It's bolted onto the door itself. I can't remove it.
can't think of anything else to talk about right now. Mr. Shoulder can... Mr. Shoulder continues to prove himself elusive. A carved stone has been affixed. I think it depicts a crescent moon. It's bolting. I have nothing else. Mr. Shoulder continues. Mr. Shoulder. Mr. Shoulder continues to prove. Mr. Shoulder continues to prove himself a Mr. Shoulder continues to prove himself a Mr. Shoulder continues to prove himself elusive. Mr. Shoulder continues to prove himself elusive. A carved stone, I think. It's bolted onto the door itself. He looks much too unruly. Care to hold one, Father Roach? Put that thing down, would you? You're no fun. I can't think of any... Mr. Shoulder continues to prove himself elusive.
I'm rather fond of this, perhaps, Miss. I'm rather fond, perhaps, Mr. Sh A carved, I think. Gloves are a pair. Does this mean Mr. Shoulder was in the alley last night? Why didn't he come inside to see me? Perhaps he's gone for a stroll. Possibly. I'd suggest you call back later, my child. I myself must make my way back home. I have some matters to attend to at the church. Shall I accompany you back to Bewley? No, you go ahead, Father. Thank you. As you wish. Farewell, Miss Bateman. I hope Mr. Shoulder finds his way to you. Thank you for your help, Father Roach. My pleasure. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Romeo and Juliet. Correct. That I shall say good night till it be morrow. You've proven yourself to be an impeccable scholar of the Bard, my child. Lord be with you. Well, Mr. Shoulder, you've brought me to Bewley, and now you're nowhere to be found. As I trudged back to Bewley across those cold moors, I made a new resolution. I would find Hobbs Barrow myself, with or without Mr. Shoulder. The train! That must be Kenneth. I should go and meet him at the station. <laughs> 